everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the answers for my Q&A that was on the Pangea video. And um, I have about 33 um, questions, so we're going to go through those fairly quickly because if not, then it's going to make this video really, really long. At the end, we will be doing the randomizer to pick the winner of the giveaway. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So um, the first one is actually from Bat Vapes, and he says, Hey, Wendy, just wondering if you had a chance to try North Northland Vapes new flavor Tangerine Dream. Actually, Bat Vapes, I haven't tried any of, of that company. So it sounds good, but nope, none of them yet. <laughs> Um, let's see. The next one is from Tina Depew and it's, uh, does the vapor get hot like it does using the engine RTA? Um, no. And I think that's because the, um, deck is actually bigger than the engine. So I think that that's what helps it, um, not get so hot. I don't know all the aspects of building or the logistics behind it, but so far I have not found that it gets as hot as the engine did for me. So, um, I'm guessing that that's what it is. Um, but yeah, so it works perfectly fine. Next. I'm looking into getting into Squonky and I want to know a really good Squonky mod and a Squonky RDA. You know I like pink and black, so that's the colors I want. So if you could let me know, that would be awesome. Thanks for the review. Love your build tutorials. They help me out a lot. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Jessica Markham. Um, squonking, um, right now there's a bunch of devices out there that have the single 18650 option. Personally, the only one that I'm used to is the Kanger Dripbox 160 because that is a dual 18650 battery and that's what I prefer. I prefer, um, the dual batteries because the single batteries really don't last me very long. If you don't mind the single batteries, um, there's actually a bunch out there and, um, I don't have any of them and I haven't been able to review them yet, but if you go on to the Vapor Trail channel, um, Tony usually does like a lot of them because he's, he's kind of, I want to say he's almost primarily squonking, but yeah. But for the RDA, I would definitely recommend his RDA, which is the Pulse 22. That one is like phenomenal. That's the one that I have on my 160 and it works amazingly. Even though it has a single coil, it works and performs to me just like a dual coil. So it is my favorite. Um, but if you are interested in getting like the drip box or some of them, um, you can also go on to bradsvapor.com. If you use Wendy Vapes 10, you'll get 10% off of your order. Um, and take a look and see what he's got because I think that I know for a fact he's got the drip box. I don't know if he's carrying any other, uh, squonky mods though, but thank you. Um, let's see. Next one is what is the warranty period for the Pangea? Love the review in the tank. Definitely appears to be an improvement over the engine. Thanks again. And that's from Dennis Bargetzi. Um, The warranty period, I'm not exactly sure for the Pangea. I don't really sell them. I just got it for review and, you know, I show what I like and I like it. So I do show it and I use it. Um, what you can do is you can actually email Lisa at VaporizeNomads.com. She should be able to give you the information. I did look on the website and I didn't see any warranty information regarding the Pangea specifically. Um, but thank you for your question. Um, let's see. The next question is uh, from That Cali Vapor. What setup do you always grab when you leave the house? The Pangea looks awesome. I really like my engine mini and... With the differences in design, all I see are improvements. Excellent review, Wendy. Thank you for giving us your thoughts on the VM Pangea. I definitely like it better than the engine. Personally, with the engine, it just wasn't holding up for my vaping needs. Um, I haven't had any problems with the Pangea. Um, actually, I just got this, so I haven't been able to really go anywhere with it. Um, but yeah, this would be one of the setups and the other one would actually be my Aroma Miser Plus. That one, because of the big um, e-liquid capacities, when I go to work, that's what I use um, when I'm out and about. That's what I use uh, one of those two um, because the RDAs I use more specifically around the house because I can drip, but at work I can't. And driving, I don't like dripping and driving, so that's just me. <laughs> but thank you so much for your question. Um, next question is, making sure that's not within the questions, uh, from Joshua Apathy Miller. Why did Adam make it a proprietary drip tip and do you know of any vendors that are going to make 
aftermarket drip tips for it. Thanks for showing it to us. Uh, love the engine and it looks just like a bigger and better version with a worse drip tip. Um, actually, I'm not sure why he picked it. I do know that he took a lot of the things that he liked from different Addies and he converted it into one that he prefers. Um, that's why he came up with it. And um, he, like he took some parts from the engine. He took some parts from like the apocalypse type of build deck and stuff like that. So I'm not exactly sure about the drip tip. I do know that he is a big Skatua fan. And if I'm not mistaken, this is very similar to the Skatua drip tip. I do know that Half Moon Mods is working on it as well as um, John Elmore. If you're on Facebook, if you look up John Elmore, he's actually one on my friends list. He's actually going to be coming up with them, I think, next week as well. So, yay. So, we'll have some drip tips. Um, Mamanita Combs, what ohms do you have and wattage are you running on the Pangea right now? Um, right now, it's at a 0.16 ohms. And it's at 76 watts. So that's what I'm vaping on it right now. Thanks so much for asking. Next one is Harvey. I'm sorry, Robbie Harkless. What do you like better, the Pangea or the Reload RTA? I like them both for different reasons. Um, the Reload, it's a great RTA. I really, really do like it. The only thing is that it's so small capacity wise and the Addy itself. It's like a 24 millimeter and I prefer bigger Addies personally um, and definitely a bigger um, e-juice capacity. So I would have to say the Pangea then because it's bigger and it holds more and I'm not filling it like every five minutes. But don't get me wrong, the Reload RTA is a really, really good RTA as well. I mean, it's got tremendous flavor even for its size as small as it is and I love the deck i'm more into it's like i want both <laughs> the build deck on the on the um reload is the postless deck which i like postless better than um post decks now um so i really really like that i like the side airflow and the bottom airflow i think that it brings out the flavor tremendously um so i like them both for different reasons but they're both very very good rtas um and darling i put this q a in the shop to make sure it was clean how long did you smoke for and when did you start vaping it's as clean as i could get for it my cloud my cloud queen i'm his cloud queen so um i've been vaping for about a year and something like a couple months and um i started i i smoked for more than 30 years so yeah so it was definitely a, a great alternative for me it helped me uh next one is how does this compare to the aroma miser supreme i know you really like it as i do curious to how the flavor compares mostly awesome review um that's from adrian and um actually i i like them both um I love, love, love my Aroma Miser Plus. I love the build deck. I love that it's postless. That's my go-to. I don't care if I have to shut off the juice flow or not. I really, really like it. Um, it's pretty much with me all the time. Um, I love that it's 30 millimeters. I love the drip tip that's on it because it's a John Elmore drip tip. Um, so this one is actually like my go-to RTA. The Pangea now is coming up to that. Um, once I get a drip tip, it's gonna perfect it for me. Because the one con that I did have was a drip tip, because it's a proprietary drip tip. But other than that, build deck is good, the quality is good and everything. It's just that I really, really like the 30 millimeter um, postless deck. But for both of them, I mean, it depends on what you like and you know what your vaping needs are but either one it is is really good um tara alonzo want to get into building best way to start get some an rda get some wire get yourself a little toolkit something maybe like this this is like the toolbox of an electronic cigarette um and it's just got like some pieces in it it comes with like the jig and um tweezers and scissors and makes it pretty easy and some cotton and just get started and then you can watch some of my build tutorials and start building so it's pretty easy if you have any questions you already know that i'm on facebook with you so you can always reach out and i can help you with that 
Uh, Tim Harden. Hi, Wendy. My question is, if you could only pick one RDA, RDTA designed by one of the reviewers, i.e. Icon, Serpent, SMM, and the Pulse 22, etc., to use as your all-day vape, which would you pick and why? Thanks and keep up the great reviews. I really like this question. Um, honestly, uh, the Icon, I really like it, especially my purple one. I love my purple Icon. Um, I don't have the Serpent SMM and um, I have the Pulse 22 and honestly, like I carry around the Pulse more because of the fact that it's a squonking, it's, I have it in squonk mode and it's on my Kanger drip box. So it holds seven milliliters of e-liquid. So again, if I'm out and about, that's what I would use. Um, not to say that I wouldn't use the Icon because I use the Icon, it's just that I can't drip and drive and drip it works so it just makes it more convenient to use the pulse 22 um, I could use the icon in squonk mode as well except for it's a 24 millimeter which will not fit on my drip box it, without overhang overhang drives me crazy so yeah so that's the reason and then I haven't gotten serpent SMM so I haven't been able to try that so which I'm really excited to try um, beast mode 619 is the machining on this RTA okay I've heard that on the inside the middle part there are metal burrs that stick out and can cut you was it like that as well actually what they were saying was that these metal little um, cages were sharp and that's what would cut you not the metal burrs it just had metal burrs on it from the machining and um, that those can cut you that's what was said um, that's what you heard but for mine, it was perfectly fine. I wasn't sticking my finger in trying to see if it was sharp or not. Um, I did go and test the engine um, after that came out and the engine did was very sharp. Mine on this one was not, but Vaporized Nomads did go and unbox, unpackage, and fix that problem for every single one of the first 500 that they got. So um, yeah, they worked on that for three days straight and they put it through the tumbler and put it through the ultrasonic cleaner. So. Yeah, squeaky clean. So you shouldn't have any problems with that. So it's 100% perfect now. Um, have you tried any juice from Broke Dick Vapes? Actually, I did get some. I only tried one so far, but I got it in Zero Nick accidentally and I need it in three because I really like, for me, the nicotine gives it a little bit more flavor. So I would like to try it in the three Nick. So I've reached, reached out to them uh, to see if I can do something about that and get them. If I do get them in, then of course I will be doing my review. But um, everybody I've talked to, they say that it's really, really good. Again, I've only had one flavor and I think it was like the fruit punch. And it wasn't bad at all. It's just that I prefer it with nicotine. Um, but yeah. Uh, Cheryl Rosato, uh, Char Shirley Rosato. I always mess up your name. Um, for how long have you been vaping? What made you start vaping? Um, again, it's been over a year and it, getting off of smoking. That's basically what got me into the vaping life. Um, I got my first vape and I was hooked from there. I wanted to learn how to build, learn every, every aspect of vaping that I could. So yeah, that's what happened. Uh, Zulu Z23, how long have you smoked and what pushed you to vaping? Uh, love the RDA, too bad, vaporized, too bad that Vaporized Nomads doesn't sell it in EU and ask for insane shipping prices. Yeah, well, anytime that you're shipping out of the country, you're going to be paying insane shipping prices. So I don't think it's just them. I just think that it's shipping in general, uh, especially with customs and everything else like that. Um, and I've answered about the smoking and what pushed me into vaping. So that one's already been asked and answered. Uh, Kate's Clouds. What is your all-time favorite setup and e-juice? Um, my favorite setup is my Wonder Woman mod with my Aroma Miser Plus or my Elite V2, if depending on if I'm doing the RDA or if I'm going out. And for my favorite e-liquid, I would have to say it's the Coil Spill RKOI or um, the close second to that one is the Berry Obsessed by um, Vape Girl Vixens. And that's like a berry cereal with like custards and creams. And, it's really really good it's my favorite favorite cereal vape ever um let's see sammy dodd wendy do you wick the engine the same way only concern i can come up with wicking it like that would be possibly flooding the deck if you don't have a 
have the wicking holes covered perfectly. I usually put the cotton through, but not touching the deck. Any way that you do it, if it works for you, it works for you. It doesn't have to be any particular way. You don't have to, to wick it like I do. Um, there's many other reviewers out there that don't wick it like I do. That's my preferred method. It works for me. I've never had any problem with flooding the deck. So I would say yes for the engine, um, just like this one. Um, but again, that's totally up to you. It's, it's really based on preference. Uh, Tommy Reiner. How do I get the hot popping E? I'm guessing that's supposed to be E juice to stop. Is it coil wrapped tight or loose? Not right wrapped tight or loose. Um, cotton, wait, or loose cotton, please help. Thanks for the chance, great review. Um, I love the engine, but those are the few things that need to be fixed. And Adam and the guys and gals of Vaporized Nomads fix them, so I have to get one of these with the sweet ass coils in them. Thanks again. Um, if that ever happens on an RTA and you are getting the popping and stuff, try turning it upside down and then right side up. It's something about the vacuuming inside that can cause that to happen. And then after you've done that, just, um, fire it a couple times and then try to vape it. See if that helps. Um, Jennifer Lynn, Wendy, how did you start vaping? What introduced you to the vaping world? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Um, Actually asked and answered a couple times above. Started vaping over a year ago and need to quit smoking. So, yeah. <laughs> Julie Dickinson. What flavor differences are there between the coil types? Clapton's, Aliens, different diameter sizes. Thank you, Wendy. There are so many differences. Um, it's basically really, it's all, um, it's subjective. It's, you know, what I might like somebody else might not like. Um, I've known people that like alien coils only. I like Clapton coils, um, basically fused Clapton coils. Um, I don't like the regular Claptons only because they're too thin to me. I think they, they feel too flimsy, so I like the fused Claptons better. Um, different diameter sizes are basically what you can put in what um, device that you have. It's not that it makes it taste any better or any less. It's you know what you can fit and how much more cotton you can put in and things like that. Um, that's about it. That was that question. If you had to be stuck on a deserted island, this is Chad Kirsch, that had the means to support electricity, what would be the device setup you would bring? You can only bring one, mod, tank, RBA, whatever, coils and juice. The island has electricity for charging purposes, LOL. Um, yeah, Chad, it would be my Wonder Woman mod, which is a 2,800 milliamp hour battery. So that's perfect. And then it would definitely be my Aroma Miser Plus because it's got the huge juice capacity and it does have the extension to go up to 20 mils. So yeah, that would be it. Uh, let's see, next one. How did you start your YouTube channel? Yeah, I'm not gonna be answering that. That's more of a business question, not really a and a question on this. Um, sorry, I just, um, if you wanna ask anything about the build or anything like that, that's fine. but. How I started my channel, I started reviewing and doing coil builds. That's basically what I did. Um, let's see. What was the second con on Pangea? I want to say that it was the not having the spring-loaded deck. That's what I'm thinking that it was. Um, that's the only other thing that I can think of. Because I know it was a drip tip, and I think it was that. And that I would want it bigger, but that's about it. Um, yeah, so that was that one. Would you be interested in trying another sugar cookie vape? I have one and we'll send it to you if interested. It's a sugar cookies and strawberry milk vape. Yum. That's from Mystic Reality. Oh my gosh, yes. Please get in touch with me. That sounds definitely very delicious. And yes, I like cookies. And I would always try another cookie vape. <laughs> Don Dabelt, or Debelt, sorry if I'm butchering it. How long have you been vaping? Asked and answered. How easy was it to get involved in the reviewing, getting products for reviewing? I'm actually still buying the products to review. So I can't let you know that yet. And um, I just started, I actually started my channel to um, help new vapors learn how to build coils because I couldn't find any that was like really, um, that dumbed it down for me, that made it easy to understand. It was more like if you know something too much, 
it's kind of hard to explain it sometimes. Um, so yeah, so I started it so that I can help other vapors. That's initially how I started it. Um, Chanty Z, all no dirty questions. What kind of show is this? LOL, gotta say I love my Pangea. Do you notice where the glass meets the bottom of the base? It doesn't set flush all the way around. I do have my frosted glass on it, so maybe it is with that one. If you have finger and run it through the bottom and make contact, so you'll be able to tell. Also, what is your favorite build? Um, I don't have any problem. I would tell you to check the notches. Make sure that you have it screwed in properly with the notches and make sure that you have it down, um, pushed down all the way. I don't, I haven't had that problem, but I haven't switched my glass out for the frosted either. So I really don't know. Um, without being able to try, was it not work? Was it not doing that with the clear glass? Can you try to put that on and see if it does it with the clear as well? Uh, other than that, that's the only thing I can think of that it would not be sitting flush. But, sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, what is your favorite? Oh, and my favorite build is a Fuse Clapton stainless steel 26 gauge dual core with 34 gauge Clapton. And that's it. On a 3 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter bit. What is your favorite RTA b besides the Pangea? That would be my Aromamizer plus Wayne Trammell. Um, that's definitely my go-to if I don't have the Pangea. David Clements, does your Kendo Vape Cotton have a break-in period? Does the taste settle to what you like over time or just you just get used to it? I have weird experiences with it. I currently use Cotton Bacon version 2. Uh, almost exclusively how do they compare the cotton bacon honestly i don't like the feel of the cotton bacon or the consistency of it um that's why i don't like it the kendo vape cotton if you do like i do in my videos and actually when you put the cotton in and you get your juice and you start heating the juice over the coils themselves until you see that cotton's getting wet from the inside out i've never had to have any break in time by doing it that way because i'm actually saturating the cotton that's in the coil instead of waiting for it to get saturated on its own so if you try that method it's probably going to work better for you um michaela vapes uh with the price of stock coils is there any way to clean them or reuse them thanks i actually tried it i tried doing that when i first started vaping because the price of stock coils is ridiculous so i did start washing them because washing them out because i, I actually saw came across the video i can't remember whose it was i want to say it was grim green but it might have not been him we said that you can clean the coils and reuse them the flavor was just not the same when I did that, so I stopped doing it. So you can try. <laughs> Julie C., what led you to vaping? Also, what setup did you begin on? Thanks for sharing. Um, to quit smoking, um, ran into a vape shop, decided to do it, and did it. I got the Kanger Tech uh, top box um, to start out, and that, that's all she wrote. I was hooked from then. Um, HD lawn maintenance. Wendy, how long have you been vaping and did it get you off cigarettes? And thanks for your reviews. It amazes me how good you can build and make coils with them nails. And what is your favorite all day vape? Um, over a year. Yes, it did. And, um, my favorite all day vape would be, if, it, if we're talking e-liquid, it would be either the coil spill RKOI, which is the strawberry champagne. Yum, yum, yum or the Berry Obsessed, or it depends on the day. It really does. But those are my two main go-tos. And yeah, that seems to be all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and do the giveaway now. So let's turn it around and we're gonna go ahead and do the randomizer and pick a winner, yay. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and pick the winner through the um random.org random generator so i've got the list of everybody who left a comment that either started with q a or had q a within those comments so it was a total of 33 so i'm going to go ahead and copy them over i do have a new window open let me go ahead and just do it again so that you see that it is a new window and there we go it's blank and ready to go so part one is to enter it so it starts with bat vapes and it ends with HD lawn maintenance. And here it is starting with bat vapes and ending with HD lawn maintenance. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually click the randomizer three times. And on the third time, it's gonna be the first name. So we'll go ahead and go through that. 
So just to be fair, make sure that it's randomizing it just right. So let's go over here more. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit it for the first time. And Mamanita Combs came up first. And that is part one. We're gonna hit it again. Number two, Robbie Harkless. Yay, Robbie. And then finally, this has already been randomized twice. We're actually gonna go ahead and randomize it the final time and pick the first name. And that name is Michaela Vapes. Congratulations, Michaela Vapes. You are the winner of my giveaway. So, Michaela, you're gonna go ahead and just email me at the email address that is listed under the contact me section of my um, video and send me proof of your age so like an id or a driver's license or something of that nature and then um also your um where to ship to this is a u.s only so um yeah it would have to be somewhere in the u.s there it is it shows that it has been randomized three times and the timestamp is 7 3 2017 at 16 54 39 utc so yeah um, hoping that you can see that. There we go. All right. So we'll go ahead and go back to the video now. Congratulations. So we're back. Congratulations, Michaela. I'm going to have a vape for you. Michaela won the build mat with Wendy Vapes on it. Two custom made coil, um, not coils, drip tips from John Elmore, and also the 120 mils of the um coil spill baker's daughter yum 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 cookies all day that's all i'm going to tell you so yeah so if you have any suggestions on another video or you want another q a like this let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for something different other than just doing the reviews let me know in the comments and i as you know i answer all my comments the only ones i didn't answer um this time was the q a's because i didn't want to mess them up or start answering in error um <laughs> and then i wouldn't have anything for us to talk about so if you have anything like that please let me know and um if you want to follow me on any of my social media it's already it's also in i can't talk today it's in the description below i'm on facebook twitter tumblr instagram and snapchat and um yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until the next one talk to you later had fun bye